What's the crack, Les? Welcome back to another player pack review. This time we're taking a look at February 9th's player of the week selection. It's, hmm, it depends, man. It depends. It's a mixed bag. Obviously, for long term players, this is not going to to change your world, in my opinion. Obviously, Coleman is a nice little pick up there. Um, Harry Kane is a very kind of uh, Burkamp esque option to have if you don't get Burkamp in this week's spins with the Legends. If you are going to be spinning, I mean, yeah, I mean, Burkamp is a hard player to play with, so don't feel like you need to. Um, but yeah, there are a couple of other players in here as well. Kvrashelia is there. Uh, even as is there, Ihinacho is there. We've also got Coleman. Uh, who's a left midfielder, Hakimi, who's probably the pick of the bunch. Um, I mean, let's start with let's start with um, these three guys here because we had a version of him last week. Shalhangalu, uh, Shalhangalu, Shalhangalu, Kal Kalhangalu. All right, lads, I can't pronounce his name, man. But anyway, I'm butchering it. But we do have this guy, centre midfielder. He's an awesome player, man. But I think last week's when you train him up yourself. Um, was a better option, not the player of the week version. Um, but this guy is a really, really good option to have if you do spin him. Definitely don't sleep on him. He can play any position on the left or right and through the middle apart from SS or DMF. So he is a really, really good option to have. We also have Jordi Alba. You know what you're getting with Jordi Alba. He is kind of Roberto Carlos um, light. He's got excellent unwavering form. He's also got excellent player skills. Acrobatic finishing is a very interesting one for him. One touch pass, interception, that is key if you are using a full back that's very attack based. But he does have 80 aggression in his defensive stats as well. So a very unique, kind of unusual, nice card to have. We also have this guy as well as a CMF. He's more kind of your stereotypical uh, run of the mill centre midfielders that there is just a dime a dozen in the game of these. He's got standard form. One touch pass is nice. First time shot is nice. But there's a lot of standard players that are going to outperform him very, very easily. Especially if you are looking at the likes of Goretzka. You're looking at Pedri. You shouldn't really be playing this guy ahead of him. Especially if you are trying to build a, a proper squad that can compete with the meta players. Ihanacho as well. He is on A form this week. Unusually um, enough, I haven't actually played with this guy at all. Like, I've never actually played with him. Um, but, I mean, his acceleration is just a little bit too slow, I think, for a centre forward. Um, and to be honest, with me, I'm kind of biased anyway because nobody's going to compare to Romario, lads. Um, so, if you are jumping on as a first time player and you get Ian Acho, just be careful of his play style because he is a dummy runner. He's not going to be a fox in the box. So he will be kind of different than playing with most other traditional kind of fox in the box kind of goal poach or center forwards that I think are a little bit better um, than the dummy runners. So obviously just keep that in mind. I will have a video on play styles quite soon. People are asking me for that. We also had Jean Mario who is here as well. This guy is a very interesting right midfielder. He does have unwavering form. He has true pass and one touch pass first time shot outside curl weighted pass he's got excellent passing skills excellent dribbling skills if you are using him as kind of like just a, a guy that can that can cross the ball in um he doesn't have early crossers so there is going to be better options than him but the thing that i like about jean mario is that he plays well above his stats like he definitely plays well above his stats and i know a lot of people like to play him amf because of those passing stats and because of his ability to just get on the ball um he also has 79 balance which is quite good but again it goes back to it you know pedri is the man to get if you're enjoying playing with somebody like him pedri is obviously a, a better option in that amf role so that completes the top line apart from harry kane we'll leave him to the last Hakimi, I think one of the best right backs in the game. Pity he doesn't have unwavering form. That would make him on par with some of the epic players and the legend players. He doesn't have blocker either, which, yeah, would be rare for a center or for a right back. Um, but I think playing Hakimi as a right midfielder is, is where you'll get most out of him because he has the passing and the dribbling. That's not too overpowered, but he's able to get up and down the pitch with that 88 stamina, 83 balance. And then, of course, he's got the perfect blend between offensive awareness and defensive awareness. He's just more attacking base. But if you have Hakimi, right, on your right midfielder and then you have a really solid right back, you will have a very, very, very good uh, right sided of the pitch that you'll be able to help, able to help out with. Hakimi will be just a, a monster getting up and down the flank, being able to help out with overlaps, touch and goals. Defense is going to kick in as well with his aggression and defensive engagement when you're not controlling him. Um, but yeah, defensively, I think 
unless you have you know one of the best uh, right backs in the game like I think Kimmich is probably better right back and then Hakimi as a, a right midfielder because of his engine that he has so that's just something and his speed and acceleration can keep up with any winger if you put a man marking job on him we also have Kratzkilia this guy is a monster, man. He is a monster. I've come up against him a few times. He's a hard player to use. The Roman flank player uh, style, right? As you see that this guy has compared to a prolific winger. It, they make very different runs. And it was pointed out, obviously, uh, one of the you guys in the subscribers uh, section or in the comment section uh, pointed out that the Roman flank. Yeah, I mean, Salah is kind of the same. The Roman flank is a hard uh, play style to kind of like read the patterns of the AI because they do kind of random things sometimes I don't think it's as well balanced as it should be um you know Roman flank should be that he pops up in multiple positions but if you've got a team with no way in the game plan obviously because the the squad options are limited that you can play you know remember in the old Pez games you could have flexible uh p positioning or you could you know meet, make them stay in their spot that they wouldn't move with their defense range or their attack range or the pass range um or the support range is what it was called like i think that this guy is a really really good player but the thing that lets him down is his actual um is his actual just play style that roman flank but he has everything else that you could possibly want um he does have double touch and he has all those player skills that you could want as a winger we also have even as this guy is a monster as well on a form all these players are on a form he doesn't have unwavering but he does have blocker and interception and he does have defensive stats in the 80s low 80s i might add but uh defensively is going to be all about heading uh jumping you know being very physical getting those blocks in passing the blocking lanes i mean lads there's so many center backs there now i mean that you should be able to have a couple of standard players that outperform him but if you do spin him on a form he definitely is worth a punt and then we've got our standard goalkeeper this guy is not worth even really discussing lads he does have unwavering form so if you are looking at a goal well he has low punt and long throw so that's not bad um but yeah if you are looking for a goalkeeper just to test out somebody else i think that 81 reflexes should tell you all you need to know lads because it's not going to be good enough for the way the gameplay is now the two players that i wanted to focus on just a little bit more not much is uh kingsley coleman uh who is a monster in the game super sub he's one of i'm going to be bringing out a video of the best left wingers in the game he's actually down registered as a left midfielder so that kind of tells you how you should be playing him because of his passing and dribbling and the fact that he does have a lot of shooting stats as well so i would be using coleman as a super sub this week for neymar if you've got neymar in your squad and coleman to come on after 70 minutes you can play coleman the exact same as neymar you'll have the speed you'll have the skills you'll have the tricks you'll have the uh shooting you'll have the cut-ins you'll have everything that you could possibly want um to get the ball in the same same parts of the pitch or positions of the pitch as neymar so neymar is obviously the best winger in the game in my opinion if you are shooting a lot of shots but his standard version lads is quite decent as well it goes up to a 92 and you get a more traditional winger without the finishing so i think this coleman this uh, player of the week is all about that finishing that shooting and the curl which he has long range curler as well which is very very unique and i do think that that is a good thing and it's the same with harry kane harry kane is a very very good center forward in it if you like playing with slower based center forwards he's not your mbappe he's not your romario he's not romanegi He's not going to be one of those players that just completely takes over a game for you. You need to be very measured in how you attack with Harry Kane and get on the end of stuff. That's all you need to do. He is a deep line forward, so he will play like Burkamp if you want to test him out before spinning for Burkamp. Burkamp's a difficult player to play with, lads, so um, be careful that you don't spin him in the pursuit of Vieira. Get him and then find that he doesn't do it for you. So, yeah, I mean, the Harry Kane standard version as well. You can train that up to 90 offensive awareness, 93 finishing and 88 kicking power, which is very, very similar to this guy here, except that this guy has got better passing and he has also got better player skills with the first time uh, shot, which you have there. But he has also got true passing, which is very interesting as well. Um, so, yeah, that is it for the worldwide February 9th player of the week selections. Let me know what you guys think and we will be back quite soon. Peace.